Good morning, YouTube. Back here again uh, for the next morning to finish the brakes on the rear. Let's get started. I already have it jacked up from yesterday, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the wheel thing off. I'm gonna spray some uh, PB Blaster on there to, you know, because this likes to rust together. So I'm putting a new drum on there, new shoes. Uh, not new hardware though, but new drum and shoes. Um, so, let's get started. Well, this doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to give it a few good hits with the hammer to see if I can't break it free of the, of the hub. good tip um, is that before you actually start taking everything apart on here is to take a picture of where everything goes um, springs you know things like that don't come with this little uh, pin in here so you, and the, well they do come with it but they're not installed already so you gotta put them in so just match where it goes on one side of the brake pads because they're identical for this vehicle and then uh, start putting them together so I'm just gonna tap it in with the hammer now to start taking this apart I hate drum brakes. I hate them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to make it easy on third gen forerunner is what I literally just did is push in the two pistons and pull the brake shoes away from them. So what I'm what I did earlier was take out this pin, this uh, clip, this little seat clip. And this little C-clip, it holds uh, this first portion, it's the uh, adjuster arm that adjusts the brick shoe adjuster up top here. So I'm going to pop that off, it sits on, and start adjusting this adjuster arm, and bringing it back in. So, this is what I'm adjusting. I'm turning it this and that way to bring this together so that I can lose, lose some tension on this spring. And if I can pull this apart, these shoes apart enough, pull them apart enough, then I can move the adjuster out of the way and this can come together and then I can take that spring off. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So, back to it. Is a pain in the ass. Drum brakes. If only I can convert this shit to rear wheel drive, I would do it. Okay. Back to work. Taking this stuff off. That's 
adjuster. Taking this stuff off and putting it over there. So we'll do that and then get them swapped over. And yeah, let's get started. So this big spring does go a specific way. You want it to go just like that. Bar on top. Clip on, you know, bar underneath. And then this spring right here, you want there to be a gap right there because that's where the adjuster wheel sits. And if this uh, bar on the bottom of the spring here is on the upside like this, If it's backwards like that, then the adjuster will hit this and not be able to adjust the, the adjuster arm will hit this, which is this piece right here. This piece right here is supposed to hit the adjuster when you press the brakes and adjust it out when needed as, you know, as the brake shoe pads on the brake shoes wear down, it adjusts the adjuster out to hit the drum the way it's supposed to. So if this is like this and the adjuster is being blocked. So, make sure you have it right. It goes over and under with the bar on the spring going on the underside if you're looking at it. So, just a quick tip. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to up these things well for some reason it quit recording so here we go start again he got one little small third spring this piece actually hooks in corner over here in the middle. So I'll hook, you see that little hole right there? It's kinda against, yeah, you can see it. There we go. It goes under, underneath there. See that spring? It goes underneath there and hooks to the bottom. It needs to go up here. So, let's go ahead and get that stuff on. E-brake bracket goes on and it gets held in place by this C-clip or horseshoe thing. And that one's done. Put the spring back through. Move this adjuster all the way in, or as far as you can get it in, like so. The big piece goes at the at this side. Just like so, but you gotta make sure you get that. Go ahead and take this spring off. Okay, adjuster in. Make sure you get the adjuster piece in because, and then this notch that sticks up goes in that hole. Like so, like that. Get the spring back on. Two. 
first. I'm gonna collapse that. A little cylinder down. Brake cable installed. You really want to be a bitch today, don't you? Yes, you do. Only with our eyes. Now is the time to choose. All right, now you take your uh, spring, little spring thing assembly that took off in the beginning, which should be that, and uh, put it through the back side and through these big holes, the biggest holes here, so I'll go through that. You put one plate down against there. This will go through that plate, like so through the back side. So spring, this goes through the back side, this goes on top of the, just like so, then your spring. And then your other plate will go on top. You push it down with your tool or needle nose pliers work pretty good. And then when you have it all done, it will lock into place. And then hold the shoe against the, whatever the hell this back piece is called. Well, before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm gonna clean all this old brake dust and stuff that's caked out on here, and I'm gonna clean that off. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, got all the grime and crap cleaned off, so let's go ahead and get these babies in. Cap, your spring, and your other cap. Drum brakes are back in. Now to just uh, the cal. I, I'm painting the drum with uh, red caliper paint, mainly just to uh, prevent rust. And because I already painted the front calipers red, so figured why not? So I would paint the calipers if I had calipers in the rear, but I don't. Because Toyota wanted to go with drum brakes until they went to the fourth gen and give them disc brakes while well, leaving us with drum brakes. So nice of them, I know, right? Well, it's all good. All good. Okay. One thing done today. I'm letting that dry and I'm gonna throw another coat on it and then I'm just gonna slide it back over. 
Hey guys, uh, one more quick tip. I know that uh, I forgot to mention this when I was filming, but when you put your brake drum back over your brakes, you're going to have to readjust that adjuster back out. Now, you don't have to adjust it back out as much as it was before you adjusted it back in, but you're going to have to readjust it out. So what I typically do is I'll put the drum brake over. Uh, I'll put the drum over the brakes of the everything and I'll slide it back over now what you want is it to kind of feel a little loose and snug at the same time and you'll know what I'm talking about when you do it but you also want to check to make sure that when you pull the e-brake up that it grabs it so uh, I know the first time I changed my drum brakes I didn't do I didn't check my e-brake and I didn't adjust them right so when I applied my e-brake it just yanked all the way up and didn't work so make sure that you check to make sure that it's grabbing when you pull your e-brake before you put your wheels and everything back on so just remember that and you'll be good so um, just adjust as needed um, it's easier to adjust it when the wheel and drum is off and everything than it is to adjust when it's not off. Uh, there's a little adjuster window, but it's a pain in the ass to adjust um, to adjust with through that window. So it's easy to do it while you have everything apart and off. As far as the wheel and the, the drum itself, so just remember that, and you'll be golden. Peace out, guys, and never look back. Yeah!